guess what? <clears throat> Tomorrow I am heading to my half marathon, my fourth half marathon, and I'm really seriously not ready for it at all. I haven't been training in the least. My friend Rachel and I, who were going to train together, our schedules were just so busy, so we didn't have any time to run together. I think we ran maybe twice, maybe three times, and it's just been so busy. So, I'm really, I was driving home from work today, and I was like, mm, what if I run in the race, but I don't put my time chip on my shoe or wherever it is, and just not count my time this this go this race because honestly I don't want that time to be associated with me I just don't because I know it's gonna be an awful time so I'm still debating like whether just to run in it but not have an official time or just get over myself and have an official time but then not be really super proud of it because I know that I didn't train and I'm running but me and Rach are gonna Rach and I are gonna run in it together I think and that'll be fine it'll be less stressful. It's supposed to rain. Ugh. So, I don't know yet, but I just am, I'm just such a weirdo because I was so motivated for my last half marathon. I don't, I don't know where my motivation went, but it went super bye-byes, and, um, so we'll see. Last year, you'll notice if you look through my videos, I vlogged the whole race, so I don't think I'm going to do that this year just because it's raining, but... Anyway, another thing that um, I'm going to do tonight while I pack for the weekend and everything is I'm going to read this. Lady in Waiting by those people, Jackie and Debbie. Uh, if you haven't read that, if you're a dude, uh, not sure if I would suggest you to read it, but whatever works for you but if you're a girl if you haven't heard of it it's a great book um it's, the tagline is becoming god's best while waiting for mr right and i just <clears throat> i don't like it because it's preparing me for mr right i don't that's not why i love it so much and i love it because it helps me focus on the here and now and the here and now is going to ultimately prepare me for the future. But I just love it. Like some of the chapter, like one of the chapters, the first chapter is Lady of Reckless Abandonment. And that term just, this has so much packed into it. Like reckless abandonment is huge. And it's just teaching you how to like really take advantage of your time that you have right now, whether you're single or married, I feel like you could still read this and be like, hmm, I want to be better in my relationships all around, not just with my husband. Um, so it's a great book, Lady in Waiting. I've literally read this thing like, I don't even know, I can't even count how many times. And I mean, I'm not saying I read all the way through and I've read it like 17 times all the way through. I mean like gone back to it and read like a chapter or whatever I'm struggling with, like, lady of, what is it, like, patience, and, ugh, it's such a good book. This is actually the expanded edition, um, where half of it is also, like, a study guide slash devotional, so, anyway, <clears throat> just, just really trying to figure out what's going on, um, with the lack of motivation in a lot of areas in my life, but especially with fitness, and, yeah. So this book is really encouraging, so I think I'm going to just spend the night focusing on the reading because it's so easy for me to not read and, like, whatever. So I hope you guys are doing great. Um, yeah. I guess all this, uh, this was just me to tell you that I have a half marathon this weekend and I'm reading a book, so... Nothing really exciting, but it was something. Yeah. Okay. Gonna press the red button now. See you guys. Hope you're well. Bye!